G'day. How are you all? Um, I'm at home. Well, I'm in my hometown, Bang Saray, and uh, it's a beautiful day today. And what am I doing? Well, I've got to go back up to Farang Thai Visa, which is a bit of a pain, but my 90-day report is due, but they uh, somehow forgot or didn't even think of it to do it the other day when I got my residency certificate. So I've got to go and drop that off and get that done. And um, then I'm going to Terminal 21 to pick up some shirts that I've had made in white and some caps. And then I'm going to hopefully call in and see an agent and look at some rentals. So uh, I'll be back soon. I'm just going to try this place. The Seaside Cafe, which came recommended by Martin. So uh, I'll show you the food. So I, I can't film much in here at the Seaside Cafe because I've got American music playing, but I've ordered the club sandwich, just something I felt like, and that was 175 baht, and the soda water, 30 baht. Anyway, I'll get into it. So I just had a great club sandwich in the Seaside Cafe, and an Aussie came up to me and said, will you stop promoting how good Bang Saray is on your YouTube? And I said, yeah, I know a lot of people are, are now considering it as a place to live. So I couldn't video the menu in there because they were playing American music. But anyway, um, yeah, great, great place. Seaside Cafe. I've got to start trying some more of these. So thanks, Martin. I appreciate that. But have a go at this view. Look at this. Just unreal. And while, um, while I'm panning around, there's a few people I need to thank. And... Uh, there's my paper going. Ah. I'll get it in a minute. When you can park here, they try and wave you in and get you to come and sit down here and, and have lunch. But uh, PayPal, Paul, thank you very much for your donation. And in terms of coffees, Dave, Mike and Justine, Alfonso, Steve and Montana over the last couple of days. You know, you guys know how much it means to me, and I, I, I just have to thank you. Uh, on YouTube, on the video, so I'm going to jump in the old girl and head up to Farang Thai Visa in Terminal 21. Oh well, I've come to Farang Thai Visa today. I should have checked before I came, but anyway, um, the office is closed. But. If anyone's looking for contact details, I did share the link on the description the other day for Farang Thai Visa. Uh, but that's their line there. And there's an email. And they're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. So. Anyhow, off to Terminal 21. So we still here, be here uh, in uh, okay. three months. <laughs> All right, so I'm just at Stork. I've just picked up some new shirts. Um, I'll get them out and show you later. But I've gone for some white ones. But these guys have been on a couple of other YouTube YouTubers and they do clothing and um, all sorts of different things, merchandise for bars. So, uh, yeah, Stork. So I'm still in Terminal 21 and I've had a couple of caps made up, so uh, hopefully I won't get copyrighted, but uh, back to you. Okay, so my day continues, I'm just, um, I'm up in uh, Kluwer where my buddy James had his Hilux wrapped and I was thinking about getting the old girl, giving it a buff and polish, um, something I'm actually pretty good at but I don't have the equipment, so for a four stage buff and polish with a machine, uh, 3,900 baht. But um, I'll have to do the conversion on that and work out whether I should do it. But you guys know I'm fussy, but it's it's got a few scratches and bits and pieces on it, light scratches that 
they'll get out because I've seen their work and um, you know that it's quality a bit hard to see in there uh, anyway I'm going to ask them next door if they can check the tyre pressures because uh, I think they're too so I'm just getting the tyre pressures checked here if you can hear me and I knew they were hard, they were, they were at 40, so they're just adjusting them down to 30. 35. What about 32, maybe? Um, okay, so we're just going to put them down to 32, and that should improve the road a little bit. Okay, so the day continues, and I'm out the front of Siam Watercraft on Sukhumvit Road in Padia which is opposite Macro and just near Tepeset Road. In fact, it's directly opposite Underwater World. And the reason I've come here is because um, the boss here is just a legend. And um, a couple of people have been asking me, do I know any jet ski rental places around Padia that you can trust? And because um, there, are, there are some horror stories out there where people where people um, rent a ski from an operator and then they take it back and the operator says, oh, you've scratched it or you've damaged it or whatever. So I thought I'd call in and see these guys and ask them because they sell their cedars to the jet ski operators and I've asked them if they can recommend someone and put me in contact with someone that uh, is trustworthy and and won't do the wrong thing by you guys. So uh, they said no problem. So somewhere down at John Tien, uh, I will be renting a jet ski, putting it on, putting the GoPro on it. And I think a couple of mates are going to come along. So I've just got to organise that, and that'll be in, a, in an upcoming video. And then uh, the operator, because you'll be told he's going on YouTube. Uh, should be okay to trust um, when you come out here for your holiday or whatever you're doing you know where to go so anyway uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get to look at any properties today so uh, I'm just meandering around doing what I've got to do but wow what a difference Letting 8 psi of air out of the tyres on the old girl, Maxine. I had 40 psi in it and I, I could just feel it. But it was too hard and I got him to put them down to 32. Uh, I'm not sure I'll spend the 3,900 baht on a four stage paint correction. I, I wish I could borrow a, a um, buff myself and do it. But anyway, uh, the day will continue. <laughs> so I'm just exploring around Banks Array. <laughs> and this is Nunnuch Garden. I think that's how you say it. And look at these beautiful elephants. Cop, cop, cop. So uh, has anyone been here? Um, I'll come back another day, but my goodness, have a look at the size of that car park. I've got no idea what this place is. So uh, I'll come back another day and check it out. But um, Nunnuch Garden, Padia, or Na Jom Tien, very close to Bang Saray. And uh, how cool is that? Anyway. Oh, I'm back at Home Pro. Just looking at stuff. I'm here, here to actually look for a, um, a water dispenser. You know, the, like you see in offices and reception areas where they've got a big 20 litre or 25 litre uh, thing of water and you get your water out of that. I'm thinking of getting one of them, but um, I'll have a look. But I'm just looking at these Electrolux cordless fax. I've got a 
a Xiaomi one I bought on uh, Lazada, but it's not cordless and it's a bit of a pain. But anyway, um, I'm yet to see Dyson here. Anyone know whether you can buy a Dyson in Thailand? Surely you can. And, uh, yeah, I still haven't decided on a air fryer, but um, anyway, I'll keep looking around. So from an air fryer to an air purifier. A couple of people have suggested I should maybe get an air fryer. Oh, sorry, an air fryer. A uh, air purifier. But I don't know much about them. No idea, but it's good for reducing the pollution and cleaning the air. Yeah, so I'm in Home Pro talking to the gentleman here about these um, water stations. So this one's normally 12,500 and it's down to 6,490. And you can get these bottles delivered, well, we think you can, to your condo or your house. And there's a few different types. So there's a top and bottom and um, that's good five year compressor warranty and this one here you can connect to your mains mains water and it's got filters inside so it does hot fresh cold and that's the price so I'll have a think I about love it. this home pro shop. I got everything. The old lawnmowers, gasoline or petrol, and electric. And a good selection of outdoor furniture. Just to give you an idea of prices. Umbrella. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to have a look at some electric, uh, some bicycles because they've got bicycles, and um, they've got bicycles. And a few people have asked about prices for push bikes, and they've got electric bikes here, I think, too. So. We'll have a look. So I'm just buying a, a small mat to put next to my bed because, uh, yeah, it's just it'll just be nice when you when you step out of bed and kind of wipe your feet on it before you get back in it if it's uh... <laughs> okay. Cup and cup. There we go. Uh, 700 and yeah 799 baht still in home pro so for those that are interested in prices of bikes they've got mountain bikes here and uh so that's 6550 with a just front suspension I've got a feeling that might be a 20 yeah that's a 29er 29 inch wheel alloy frame Four seven six five zero, and they don't have any road bikes here, really. No, they don't. And these are electric scooters. Twenty-four thousand for that one, and that one. That one's thirteen nine. These ones are pedal assisted. Uh, Nineteen nine, and the three wheeler, three blah, 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 the three wheeler electric is 
29,900. There you go. So, I was curious to see how many Ks I'd get out of a tank of um, 95 unleaded in the old girl, Maxime. And uh, I filled up a couple of weeks ago, if you remember. And it was about 80, $82 Australian or something like that. And I've done 540 Ks on this tank. And I took a so I took a photo of the speedo when I filled up last and um, yeah we'll see how much this is to fill up and uh, anyway I knew it wasn't going to be fantastic on fuel but it is a 2.7 litre four cylinder so um, yeah let's Punch out the speedo, you can have a look a bit. Um, show you how to do a, how to do a scan peg with your Bangkok Bank app. And hard to see, but you do a scan, you push a button to scan. And you get a chance to They've got a QR code, and then you. Oh, hang on. Again. Okay. How much is a cup? Is that the price there? Price two two four zero. So um. Oh yeah, two two four zero. That's what it costs to fill up. And then you just hit confirm on your whoop, put the pin number in. Transaction successful. And it's done. And they've given me a couple of bottles of water. down at the pool again after another hard day running around sorry everyone I didn't get to um, look at any condos but I am looking at some rentals in Banks Ray tomorrow and um, I've got other stuff to do on Saturday so there are condos coming up so today was just me running around doing doing my stuff but so lucky so lucky to be here Just amazing. Anyway, if this might be the end of the video, unless the paragliders come past, which they do most afternoons, but it might be a little bit early for them, I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. And that's the back. So I had these made up in white. some new caps.